In this lab, we've been told to configure both syslog and NTP. The first thing we need to do is configure the syslog server. So I'll click on the syslog server, go to services, click syslog, and enable the syslog server. The IP address of the syslog server is 10.1.1.200. You could also see that by using the ipconfig command in command prompt on the syslog server. We then need to configure both router one and switch one to log messages to the syslog server. Before I do that, I'll go back to services and ensure that I can see the syslog server. Here's router one. Can I ping the syslog server? It's important to verify that you have IP connectivity to the syslog server and we do here, so that's good. So what I can do is go to global configuration mode and type logging and specify the host that I'm gonna log messages to, which is 10.1.1.200. Type end and notice we see messages on the syslog server. We can see that this device was configured from the console. We can also see that a logging has been started. So on the router, show IP interface brief. This is the IP address of the router. That's the device that logged messages to the syslog server. And here are the messages that were logged. So again, control Z or control Z, this message has been logged to the syslog server. Notice no timestamps are displayed. Now let's configure the switch. Something very similar will be done. Ping 10.1.1.200. We've got IP connectivity to the syslog server. So logging host 10.1.1.200. Type end. Notice these messages are displayed on the console, but they are also displayed on the syslog server. IP address of the switch is 10.1.1.253. We can verify that by using the show IP interface brief command. So that device has logged messages to the syslog server. Now we can do some additional tests, such as creating a loopback interface on the router shutting that down and re-enabling it, as well as shutting this port down on the switch. But we can already see that messages are being logged to the syslog server. So on the router, conf t, interface loopback zero. Notice we told that this interface has come up. Line protocol is up. In other words, those messages have been logged to the syslog server. I'll create an IP address here, and I'll shut uh, the interface down. Interface has gone down, and that's what we can see on the syslog server. Again, no shut of the interface. We can see uh, that uh, the interface has come up. Shut it down no shut it, we can see those log messages. On the switch, show IP interface brief. This interface is currently up. So interface gigabit 104, shut it down. Notice we told that the interface has gone down. It's been administratively shut down. Again, those messages have been logged to the syslog server. No shut it. Interfaces come up. And that's what we can see on the syslog server. So I've now completed the configuration and verification of syslog in this lab. These two devices, router one and switch one, can log messages to the syslog server. Now we need to configure NTP because no timestamps are shown on these log messages.